Hi, I'm Ms. Cern. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about solving proportions, which are a special kind of equation. And you might be thinking, wait, this is algebra, not geometry. But in geometry, sometimes we have to solve proportions. So we're going to do a little quick, quick, quick review. So what is a proportion? A proportion is just an equation that has one fraction on one side and one fraction on the other. One fraction on each side of the equal sign. So for example, we have x over 5 equals 4 over 10. Let's look at solving some proportions. I'll start with x over 5 equals 4 over 10. How do we get x by itself? With proportions, there's a nice little trick that you can use, like a shortcut which is that you can actually multiply across. Sometimes you'll hear this described as cross multiplying. Sometimes you'll hear it described as the product of the means equals the product of the extremes. The product of the extremes is referring to the x and the 10. 10 times x is 10x. The product of the means is referring to 5 times 4. That gives you 20. And then that way you no longer have fractions in your equation. So that's a nice little shortcut. You can then divide by whatever the coefficient of x is. The number being multiplied by x is called the coefficient. We're going to divide by 10 in this case. So we're going to get x is equal to 2. And that makes sense, right? Isn't it true that 2 fifths is equal to 4 tenths? All right, so um, that worked. Let's try that same technique with a slightly more advanced proportion. In part b, we have 2 thirds equals x plus 1 over x. So the x appears in two places. Let's see if this cross multiplying technique works here. Okay, so we're going to take the product of the means, which is 3 times x plus 1, times the product of the extremes, which is 2x. So no longer do we have fractions. Now I'm going to distribute through the parentheses 3x plus 3 equals 2x. And now we need to solve the equation by getting the x's to one side and the numbers to the other. So what I mean by that is, for example, I could subtract the term, terms are things that are separated by plus or minus, subtract the term 3x from both sides of the equation. So that way we're left with 3 equals negative 1x or just negative x. And then I'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, the negative 1. Remember, negative 1, one of the errors that my students make a lot is they see that negative and they want to add a 1. But remember, it's not the sign of the number, it's the operation that matters. So the operation here is to multiply. So to reverse that, we need to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. So then that's going to give us x equals negative 3. All right now I'd like to check that just to make sure that that's actually true. So let's see if x equals negative 3 works. I'm going to put in a negative 3 here and I'm going to put in a negative 3 here. And so what we want to know is if we put that in does it actually equal 2 thirds? Well I can see that negative 3 plus 1 is going to be negative 2. And this is just going to be negative 3. So yeah, negative 2 divided by negative 3. The minus divided by minus is a plus, so you do get 2 thirds. All right, one thing you do have to be careful about is when you have an x in the denominator of your proportion, just make sure that whatever value you get for x does not make the denominator equal 0. Because remember, division by 0 is undefined. You can remember a number divided by zero spells no. So just always make sure when you're solving proportions that whatever answer you get doesn't make the denominator zero. If it does, you gotta throw it out. There will be no solution. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps other students to find the video.